The latest chapter on the battle over books in one Metro Atlanta school district has reached its conclusion for now. Today, the Marietta School Board voted to uphold the removal of a book called Flamer from its high school library. Some parents complain the book about a gay teenager struggling with his identity was too sexually explicit for teens. Other parents argue the ban amounts to censorship of LGBT literature. Fox News' Rob Dirienzo is in Marietta tonight with a look at what's next in the fight. There's been a lot of talk all over the country about what kids should and shouldn't be reading. Here in Marietta, the school board voted six to one to remove a book called Flamer that it deemed objectionable for high school kids. Our tax dollars should not be paying for pornographic material inside of our K-12 schools. If you actually read the book, you, you see right away that it's not sexually explicit. It's certainly not pornographic. A bitter back and forth over which books high school kids should be able to read in Marietta. On Thursday morning, the school board voted to uphold a ban on the graphic novel Flamer about a gay teenager coming to terms with his sexuality. Our board is called to have standards and it is not in any way encouraging them in what is important in our education. The superintendent originally pulled the book, but parent Kayla Sargent appealed that decision to the Board of Ed. The board overwhelmingly voted that it was too explicit and sexuality isn't a topic high schoolers should be reading about on the taxpayer's time. Member Jason Waters also said he didn't think the way that it mentioned suicidal thoughts was appropriate either. And it could be useful for some kids, but just upon the library, I don't. If you look at the statistics on adolescent mental health right now, the suicide rates are increasing, not decreasing, particularly among queer and children of color. Conservative groups across the country have appealed to school boards to get them to remove books talking about sex, gender, and race. An organization advocating for free speech called Pen American counted more than 4,000 similar bans in the last two years. Might there be more? Sure. Is it going to be a mass amount? I really don't think so. That was never the intent of this. So I wanted to check out this book firsthand to see what all the controversy was about. So I went over to the Cobb County Public Library and they said that they just don't have any copies left at any of their branches. They said, in fact, if I wanted to check one out, I'd have to join a waiting list that is three dozen names long. In Marietta, Rob DiRienzo, Fox 5 News.